Yeah, you are just, I think he's doing it on purpose. He's like, Mom, Mom, I'm going to put my paint all over your face, and it's going to be really funny. What can happen is these little focal seizures, which suddenly make him really tired. Okay, so we're getting a little better. Oh, good. 96. Somebody had a very low oxygen this morning. So I'm giving him some albuterol because I think he needs to cough a little. I've just been holding it so I don't have to put it around his ears. Are you sleepy? It's Monday morning. We don't have any helpers today at all. No helpers for us. Just you and me. All day. Again. Though, did you like having Ellen here? Ellen was here all weekend. That was nice. She's so nice. She sits with you. I know. Yeah, you're kind of either really tired I'll check the camera to see if you woke up. We're back down to 94 again. Big breaths, Daniel. Finish this breathing treatment. Okay. Hi. We are in our art shop. We call it our, our art shop, but it's just sort of our little creative space. We're trying to think of what we're going to do next. And we're looking out the window. Right, Daniel, out there? It snowed last night and rained this morning, so we have marshmallow slush outside. Right, Daniel? So I think we're sort of at a creative lull right now. I'm going to watch some Pinterest videos and see what I can come up with. I've got all the acrylics out, all the brushes ready. Quite a few already primed Arteza 8x10s. And I've got some 16x20s, which would be a lot of fun once I decide on what we're going to do. Don't have a nurse today. Today is Monday. So. Uh, I thought I just saw a deer out there. So, do we want to do a wintry scene? Do we want to do something that's not a scene? Do we want to go abstract? Do we want to make flowers? What do we want to do? Do we want to make boats or water, trees? Valentine's Day. So we'll come back later and show you that we have started. <laughs> but anyway, hi. Hope everyone's doing well. It's kind of wintry calm, quiet day. Good day to paint when it's like this. So we'll find some nice relaxing music and then we'll look at some pictures and we'll see what we can find. I'm going to try to modify some brushes for him. I have some really cool new fan brushes that I got from wherever I got them. Amazon. I thought they were smaller ones, but I think these will be great for Daniel because they're Super long, super, super big, super long. And I can put him in a, the, the holder. I think he'll be really able to get his hands around these because they're so long. Wanna paint mommy? Okay, see you later. Okay, where's the button? Where's the button? Daniel, 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 what a face. What a face. Here we go. So, we're gonna do this, this video. It's a real easy one. Just making gray. And Daniel got fussy before. I had to take a like hour break. So we'll see how long he lasts. But I've got this brush. Yeah. It's. <laughs> It's attached to his hand with 
What are these little green things? I forget what they're called. I'll have to show you later. They're like little grippy things. So he's gripping it nice. And now we're gonna blend and get some gray paint on the canvas. I'm gonna pause our video. Mm. We have these um, palette papers that I use. I kind of put the paint on the wrong end here. Do you want to see what I'm going to do? So we're going to, what do I do here? Let's kind of move that to the bottom of the page. I kind of put it on the top. It should be down the bottom. There we go. I just push it down. All right? See how I'm doing that with mine? Now, I want you to do that with yours. I'm going to put my paintbrush right there for now. We're just making, see that? That's white paint with a little black. I don't know if you guys can see that. I gotta point it down so you can. So let's do some bit blending. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guide your hand because I'm a little wonky there. He just, want, he just wants to go right to the canvas. We gotta make our gray though. Very good. He's doing not finger paint. We're not finger painting today. Please. <laughs> we don't have our messy, messy clothes on. We have our somewhat clothes on. Wow, that's nice. Is that a good gray? Mm -hmm. You think it needs to be a little more? Okay. Mm -hmm. You see, you gotta mix it really well. There's a little canvas. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring the canvas up to you. And you, here we go. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Mm -hmm. Good job. Pull it across. Nice. Pull it across. <laughs> Very good. Are you guys watching this? Pull it across. Pull it across. You're awesome. Pull it across. Can I get you anything? Huh? Can I get you anything? No, I'm all right. What you did? Get the gray on there? Yeah. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give your hand a break. This is let's see if I can find these in bigger sizes. They're called Easy Holders. Easy hold. I found them on Amazon. And they go around anything that you need to hold on to that you might not be able to have a good grip. Yeah. He um yeah, you did a good job. Look, you did the whole top part. But don't push my camera over, because see, see, these are the challenge. Be rascals. Are you a rascal? Mm. Let's bring you back up so we can see your face. Nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. Are you being a rascal? Yeah, you are. I think he's doing it on purpose. He's like, Mom, Mom, I'm going to put my paint all over your face and it's gonna be really funny. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, we're having a good time. What if we don't put our finger in our mouth? What are you doing? Get that finger out of that mouth. Get it out of there. Get it out of that mouth. What if you have paint on your mouth? Anyway, easy grips, easy holds. Like it goes, it goes like around your hands. Mm. So, Dale, you know, this I'm going to show you, right? We, we made this, we made this gray. Let's, let's bring in a little more white here. Make it a little darker, so it looks like winter night. I mean, winter days. Mm. Kind of like today. This is like exactly like today. Mm. I gotta watch my video. I don't know. I know is the sky's gray. I don't know what happens after that. <laughs> I think we need more titanium white. Now what are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to my life with my cutie tootie duty. Mm. You my buddy. Mm. Yeah? Are we gonna are we gonna make a painting? Is it gonna take us like a week and a half, probably? Sometimes it takes us a long time because <laughs> he gets engaged and then he sort of disengages. Or he has to be changed, or something happens, or he needs a breathing treatment, or we gotta go back in his room. Or suddenly it's time to just rest. 
-hmm. But we're gonna keep going as long mm -hmm. as we can here. I think we're gonna finish up this this mm -hmm. bottle of titanium white here. I have a mix of colors. I have Arteza mm -hmm. colors, but I really like them. The Arteza and the mm -hmm. Arteza. I don't know how to pronounce it. And Liquitex, because mm -hmm. I tried using really cheap acrylics and they don't. don't make the same blending pigments and stuff like it's just harder and it doesn't come out as nice and uh, when you're dealing with not only having to adapt somebody else's hands to your painting it's nice to have paints that just are smooth I also realized that all of the <laughs> canvases that I have usually come with gesso already on them, so I don't have to prime the, mm. the canvases. I thought I had to prime them. Some of the older ones mm. didn't have priming. Cheap, cheap ones don't. Mm. Okay, Daniel, so look at this. We got a lot of nice, sort of, really pretty gray. Like, it's really nice. That's a very nice color. We should paint that on the walls. <laughs> We're not gonna paint the walls. You wanna try again? Can I have your hand? I'm put it on the on the adapter. You ready? <laughs> okay. You are so silly. Why, why are you so silly? You like this? Okay. Put this in your hand, just like so. Bring it down there, and then we're gonna stretch this to the bottom. Yeah, Daniel. It's canvas. No. Maybe what we need to do is paint the easiest mm. direction for the way you're holding. Okay? Mm. Ready? Ready? Mm. Look. There you go. Can you do it? Mm. You do it yourself? Mm. Do it yourself. Mm. Yeah, how about mm. I bring you up to the easel. Mm -hmm. Ready? Straighten your arm. Just, mm -hmm. just, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I know. I'm using your left hand. Do you want to mm -hmm. use your right hand? Okay. He uses both hands, by the way, mm -hmm. because his left side isn't as motor skill effective as the right, mm -hmm. but he ultimately is a right, righty, but he uses both. <laughs> nice. So I'm just gonna work with you. But just not stroke off. Paint on yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry his face isn't in the frame. He's I'm concentrating on his work. Wow. What are you doing? Pull it over. Oh, nice. Pull it over. That's a face. So now we're gonna use a fan brush. This is a fan brush. You see yourself in the, in the viewfinder there, Daniel? We're gonna use a fan brush. I bought a new kit of these. And they're fantastic. They're like really long. We're gonna use this because this painting is basically sort of a winter landscape with some pine trees and shadowing. So we've been asked to make a darker gray, which we just did. And we'd show you what we mixed. Hold on. I'm ending up wearing most of the paint. It's okay. I don't mind. There's that. There's that darker gray. So what we're going to do is make some pine trees using our giant fan brush. You want to try using Mr. Righty Hand this time? Which hand do you want to hold this? I'll let him pick. Which hand do you want to use? Mm. Hmm? The brush. This one or this one? I'm going to try right hand. Let's, let's try this one. Around the hand. And back onto the brush. Okay, you got it. You're holding it nice. Put it down in there. You got it? 
he's got it. Okay, so we're gonna go and lay some <laughs> other things onto our canvas here. Ready? Let's look at the picture one more time, Daniel, because I forget what it should look like. Okay, ready? So great on his paintbrush. So, this is a big picture. We're gonna come back in a few minutes. He's got this, he did a good job. We've got the start of what will be some nice winter. The camera's gonna run out of that. But we'll be back with more painting and more of our artwork later. I think we're getting a little sleepy too. Sometimes he gets tired really fast. He has a seizure disorder, just so you guys know. He's got a lot of different things going on, but one of the things that can happen is these little focal seizures which suddenly make him really tired and he doesn't always have them he, they're very random but they can come and go so sometimes he just gets a little kind of zoned out usually i can bring him back all right dan i'm gonna put the camera off we'll be back i'm just happy even that i got him to lay the paint and do some of the pine trees but we're gonna keep trying but i can't do that and this and all the things so i'll be back bye I found the package. These are called Easy Hold. Easy Hold. See? See the pictures? They help somebody's hand basically grasp onto things. Oh, that, that one's like a handle. I like that one. Maybe I'll try a few of the other sizes too. Wow. So much fun. Mm hmm. Yeah, I find these on Amazon. Like I find a lot of things. But I think that's a nice adaptation tool. Dale can't do like fine motor holds, but he he was going. He knows what he's doing. You know what you're doing, right? We were over here doing some stretches. Doing some stretches. <laughs> he's looking at himself. So, so far in our winterscape, we have, it looks like this. Um, a bunch of gray kind of shapes we did that with the large fan brush so we're taking a break and i'm gonna go get him into his room and oh my back hurts oh no my back hurts do you know <laughs> he's gonna go back to his room he needs to have a couple treatments he gets a vest treatment that shakes him and he gets a breathing treatment he's had one this morning but he usually gets two or three Okay, so that was a fun activity in Daniel's art shop. We also just made a sale in your art shop. Somebody bought a print, the birds on a wire print with the little birdies. So we need to send that to whoever it was that went on your shop and bought one of your paintings. You say, thank you for buying one of my paintings. Say, thank you. He made 10 bucks into his little account come on i got paint on me on my shirt look <laughs> i hope i can get it out if not it becomes a paint shirt i have a bath and body works holiday candle going in here it smells so good it smells like cookies and comfort and yummy i'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to smell like but that's my interpretation thank you bath and body works I just hit the candle sale the other day, so shh, don't tell John. Candles go on sale. <laughs> I might be a little bit cuckoo. Come on, guys.
Hurry up, guys. Oh, you sleepyhead. It's snowing again. Look at that. Are you sleeping on my sketchbook? Oh, this sure does set the tone for the mood today. Snow. It is cold and snowy out there. Oh. All right, let me take off my, my Arctic Tundra coat. This thing is huge and heavy and wonderful. I don't know. I hate to take it off, it was keeping me so toasty. I'm been chilled all afternoon, it's just damp. Uh, okay, nice. Nice to walk in the snow with you, Henry. Hold on, you were eating so good, so good. Oh my goodness, come here, honey. Do you have snow on you? A little bit? No, not too bad. <laughs> 